Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. This video is on your SmackDown spoilers, main event spoilers, and birthdays and other wrestling news going around the world. Well, happy birthday goes to Al Alexis Smirnoff, a, a real name of Michael Lamarch, turned 69 years old today. Hall of Famer Medusa, aka Deborah Maselli, turned 52 years old today. And she was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. No actual location. Uh, as a lunger blaze. Shelly Martinez turned 36 years old today. Goldberg has a movie trailer at this link. Or you can go to uh, uh, NineLegendsFilm.com I'll just post a link there for you. It's also on YouTube. <coughs> Nine Legends, which is now starring <coughs> uh, streaming at N I N E Legends Film, starring Bret Hart, Mike Tyson, Rob Van Dam, Lita, and Chris Jericho. Goldberg recently tweeted about Fox Sports coverage of the film and uh, posting a link there uh, from Fox Sports as well. Mike Tyson, pro wrestling legend. Featured in trailer for the movie on FoxSports.com. <clears throat> there is not no dark match advertised for SmackDown due to the recent dark match dark main events that have been listed as Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose versus Alberto Del Rio and Kevin Owens. Those uh, wrestlers were uh, are not in the country <coughs> as they had to uh, do a split roster again. Very similar to when they had the uh, crews uh, do a live event show here in Tree, uh, Boulder City and what have you, and also in Alabama. So it wasn't much of a star-studded SmackDown taping. So a mediocre main event is what you're going to get, and that's basically it. Uh, there will be a limited crew, or was a limited crew at the SmackDown tapings, as a roster that was headed for the live events in Germany, superstar scheduled for Germany include Intercontinental Champion Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, Alberto Del Rio, Big Show, Dolph Ziggler, The Usos, the WWE Tag Team Champions, The New Day. Well, New Day stayed in the country. Rusev, Lana, Ric Flair, and WWE Divas Champion Charlotte and Paige. It should be noted that Reigns, Ambrose, Del Rio, and the Usos double booked as they're also advertised for SmackDown. Del Rio confirmed on Twitter that he is was headed to Germany. Uh, several talents that are expected to miss all events in the United States all the way through Saturday this week. Uh, here are the dates for the Germany tour and what have you. Wednesday. Events Bremen, Germany at the OVB Arena. Thursday at the, in Cologne, Germany at the Lanx Lanxus Arena. Friday at the Mannheim, Germany at the SAP Arena. And Saturday at Madsburg, Germany at the GETEC Arena. Well, I was born in West Berlin, Germany, so I guess I ain't going to have no events there. So it's uh, just east of West Berlin, but. Probably now. Superstars who were advertised for the tour include Ric Flair, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Kevin Owens, Big Show, Alberto Del Rio, New Day, Lana, Rusev, and many more. Well, we'll see who uh, attends SmackDown and the results later in this video. Well, Social Outcast, Bo Dallas, Curtis, Curtis Axel, Adam Rose, and Heath Slater filmed a feature future episode of WB Game Night today. At a go kart track in Portland, Oregon, actually uh, it was yesterday, as Rose tweeted a, te a teaser, WWE Adam Rose, hashtag social outcast burning tires at Sky Kart Indoor Racing Center, hashtag walrus, hashtag radical mongoose, as he talked about on Raw, and then hashtag WWE Game Night, and then hashtag WWE. And you can go, there's a video on, on it at uh, twitter.com backslash WWE Adam Rose. 
Monday's Raw ranked number two among series and specials for the night in the Nielsen's Twitter TV ratings behind The Bachelor. Raw had a unique audience of 2.926 million, which represents the number of Twitter accounts that commented on the show. This is up from last week's 1.772 million. Raw had a total impressions of 21.342 million, which represents the number of times tweets about the show were seen. This is up from the last week's 9.113 million impressions. It looks like Enzo, Amore, and Ka uh, Cole and Cassidy will be coming to the main roster without having a WWE NXT Tag Team title run. But they may be given the Tag Team titles within a month of their debut. Noted how the duo has been backstage at main roster events, well, they had a dark match at the SmackDown tapings, along with Carmella, supposedly in their corner. Don't know what about until the results. Uh, in checking with a source, I was told that there are plans to bring all three NXT stars to the main roster soon, which they were at the tapings, unknown about Carmella. Uh, the call-up is apparently a lock as WWE writers have had discussions about how to bring them up. WWE often waits to bring new stars to the main roster after WrestleMania season, but there's no word yet on if Enzo, Big Cass, and Carmella will be debuting before WrestleMania 32 or after. Speculation was that they will debut after WrestleMania, but hasn't been confirmed yet. The, uh, Xavier Woods as a uh, uh, latest Creed vs. Omega video. I guess it's on this, this link here at uh, twitter.com backslash Xavier Woods PhD. And he tweets, an epic battle rages on. These two warriors refuse to quit. Who is this week's victor? Hashtag Creed vs. Omega. Hashtag Kenny Omega. Man X. As uh, also uh, Xavier Woods playing XCOM 2 in this new video from Up Up Down Down on the YouTube channel. Jane Storm appeared on the latest episode of Ross Report. And here are some excerpts of the, from the interview. Comments on a potential WWE run. run? I wouldn't uh, really say having a WWE run is a bucket list goal, but no matter what any wrestler says, when you get into the professional wrestling business and start training and stuff, the ultimate goal is to make it to the WWE and to have that WrestleMania moment. And a lot of guys will say, no, I just want to make money for my family and stuff. And that's great. But in the back of your mind, you want to have that run. And that's me too. I'd still like to have a good WWE run to show what I can do, as they say, on the grandest stage of them all. On his dream opponent, it would be none other than Triple H, because he he knows how to be a heel, and he's not out to try to get a cheer. He's going out to do a job, and that's to make people hate him. That way, they like the baby face more. On not getting visible tattoos, a lot of people don't know that I have my legs covered with tattoos from the knees down to down on both legs. That's why he wears the long tights. And people would say, why don't you get tattoos on your upper body? No, I don't want that because if something happened and I do some stuff with WWE, they might not want tattoos. And then I would have to pigeonhole myself into a corner because then I've got all these tattoos. I can't go take them off. So it's a lot easier for me not to have tattoos visible than it is for me to have them visible. That's what I always believe. WB announcer Kyle Edwards finished Bomberman in the Up Up Down Down YouTube channel video with Xavier Woods at this link. Thanks to the result, uh, results posted by PW Ponderings February, from February 8, 2016. Tape for Ring of Honor. Episode number one, Women of Honor. ODB defeated Faye Jackson. Ring Runner TV champion Roderick Strong defeated John Gresham 
to retain with a big knee. Bobby Fish came out afterwards to brawl with Roddy. Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, War Machine, beat Brutal Bob and Tim Hughes. ANX came out after and challenged War Machine. It will be a no DQ tag title match at the 14th anniversary. Pay per view event. Adam Cole came out to cut a promo. Ring of Honor champion Jay Lethal came out. Full match with Truth Martini and Taylor Hendricks. Uh, before he could speak, Kyle O'Reilly came out and, and then he started to speak and he laid into both Lethal and Cole, leading to a pull apart brawl. And your main event, the Briscoes with ODB, defeated ACH and Alex Shelley after a doomsday device on ACH. Daniels, Kazarian, and Saban interfered and helped the Briscoes win. Afterwards, during a beatdown, Saban looked confused as to what to do to his former Motor City Machine Guns partner, which allowed ACH to fend off the addiction. Episode number two. Women of Honor match. Hania, the Huntress, defeated Mandy Leon. Silas Young and Beer City Bruiser defeated Dalton Castle's boys after a flipping cannonball from Bruiser on to one of the boys. Top prospect semifinal match. Brian Fury defeated Action Ortiz with a pop up sit out powerbomb. And another semifinal match. Leo Rush defeated Punisher Martinez when Rush reversed a top rope choke slam into a Spanish fly. BJ Whitmer defeated Chase Brown with an exploder. Matt Seidel defeated Adam Cole with a shooting star press. Episode number three, Women of Honor uh, match. Veda Scott, Amber Gallows, and Allison K defeated Sumi Sakai, Thunder Kitty, and Crazy Mary Dalton. Top prospect final, Leo Rush defeated Brian Fury with a running C4. Moose defeated Congo with a spear. Cedric Alexander with Veda Scott versus Adam Page never got underway as BJ Whitmer attacked Page. Cheeseburger defeated Mike P. Dog Posey. And Christopher Daniels with Kaz defeated Dalton Castle with the boys with the Angels' wings. Episode number four, of course, Women of Honor match. Kelly Klein with B.J. Whitmer defeated Taylor Hendricks with Truth Martini. Seven-team gauntlet match. Red Dragon and Caprice Coleman and Will Ferreira started the match. Our, uh, Red Dragon defeated Coleman and Ferreira. Red Dragon then defeated Joey Daddy Go and Chris LaRusso, one of Truth Martini's tryout guys. No introduction. Looked like a cro cross between Justin Bieber and The Miz. Truth and Diesel walked out on him, and our uh, Red Dragon beat him. Young Bucks were out next. They gave these two teams plenty of time. Good action. Young Bucks prevail. So the Bucks advance. Bucks uh, beat Brutal Bob and Tim Hughes pretty easily, and then the Bucks beat the, the Addiction. And your finals uh, in the final match is uh, Ropanji Vice defeated the Young Bucks. Update for the lineup for the Ring of Honor 14th Anniversary Pay-Per-View, including two matches that will be announced on Ring of Honor TV. Ring of Honor World Title Match, Champion Jay Lethal uh, versus Adam Cole versus Kyle O'Reilly. Ring of Honor Tag Team Title Match, No Disqualification, Simulation. Champions War Machine versus All Night Express. Non-Title Match, IWGP Champion Kazuchika Okada def uh, versus, the Mo versus Moose. Tomohiro Ishii versus Hiroki Goto. The Briscoes versus Michael Elgin and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Alex Shelley versus Christopher Daniels. Ring of Honor announced today that Tomohiro Ishii versus Hiroki Goto has been added to the pay per view as Ring of Honor's 14th anniversary pay per view event takes place in Las Vegas on February 26th with that card that I just announced. Other stars appearing is Ghetto, Kushida, Kenny Omega, that I was just talking about earlier, that was with uh, Up, Up, Down, Down, with Xavier Woods. Also, Roderick Strong, The Young Bucks, and War Machine are advertised for the event. 
AJ Styles was the latest guest on the latest episode of Talk is Jericho with Chris Jericho. He talked about uh, regarding his WWE debut and Royal Rumble in Orlando. As AJ said, he was kept hidden for most of the day before being brought into the Am Amway Center. He said he wasn't sure if fans would be receptive to his appearance in the 30-man main event, and he wondered if they would even know who he was. Styles said he found out he was debuting in the Rumble just a few days before. He flew into Tampa instead of Orlando, so he drove from Tampa to Orlando as he wanted his debut to be a secret. When he was driven into the parking lot of the Amway Center, he was then told to lay down in the back seat of the, of the car. As Sunday was also the first time Styles officially met Triple H and shook his hand. They had talked on the phone, but that was their first meeting. AJ also talked about briefly meeting with Vince McMahon, discussing his character. Jericho then asked Styles going, if Styles going into NXT was an option, <coughs> as AJ hated to admit it, but he was very relieved when he learned he wouldn't be going to work developmental. He did say he would have made the best of it if and proven himself as part of NXT, and he made it clear that he wasn't taking anything away from anyone in NXT. He also mentioned how WWE contracts come with opportunities you don't get anywhere else. Nothing that he, he could work as a trainer or an agent once his in-ring career is over. And then he comments on his former New Japan Pro Wrestling stars, Shinsuke Nakamura, Doc Gallows, and Carl Anderson coming for WWE. Well, everybody knows Doc Gallows used to be in WWE as Festus. Carl Anderson coming to WWE. Styles implied that Anderson and Gallows are both on their way. He said those guys are finishing up their contracts, and Nakamura's already on his way, as we reported, to do some uh, testing. And here are the results from Dreamwave Immortality. The show was held at the Knights of Columbus on February 6th. Crowd was a little over 400 people in attendance. A.R. Fox successfully defended the Alternative Championship when he defeated Sammy Callahan. Aria DeVere defeat, defeated Donovan Dan Halson. Matt the Money Cage defeated B-Boy. Spears Mears successfully defended the Tag Team Championship by defeating Zero Gravity. Rob Van Dam came to the ring and addressed the crowd. Eric Cannon defeated JT Dunn. The Ice Pick Vic Capri defeated Rush uh, Rough Crossing. Stephen Wolf defeated Marshall Rocket. Prince Mustafa Ali defeated Shinron. Brew Baker defeated Darren Corbin. And in a triple threat action, Seduce and Destroy defeated Helter Skelter and Swag Team. The match between Abyss and Dreamwave champion Christian Rose was declared a no, no contest. And Dreamwave advertises a return Saturday, March 5th, with Road to Anniversary with. Special guest beer money. Tickets go on sale money Monday on DWTicks.com and visit DreamwaveWrestling.com for more details. Former NXT performer Bull Dempsey will be working as Bull James on the independent scene. So I guess they released him. And now what you all been waiting for? Main event spoilers. First report thanks to Wesley Levy on Twitter at Speed Limit None 3 for the following main event spoilers from Portland, Oregon. Zack Ryder defeated Heath Slater in a really good match. Natalia defeated Alicia Fox by submission. Mark Henry and Darren Young defeated Damian Sandow and Fandango when Henry pinned Fandango. Second result, thanks to Lawrence Morgan, who was at the SmackDown tapings and posted the spoilers for main event. <coughs> Dark match, Enzo Amore and Big Cass defeated two local wrestlers, unknown. Didn't get, uh, get any names for them. So that was the only results posted for main, uh, main event other than the other one. And 
Slater's first match. A little bit different from the, the first results. Heath Slater won the match against Zack Ryder. Slater won after an impaler DDT. Bo Dallas was not at ringside with a social, social outcast. Natalia defeated Alicia Fox with a sharpshooter. Well, submission. I guess the reporter doesn't know Natalia's finisher. Darren Young and Mark Henry defeated Damian Sandow and Fandango. Henry uh, hit the World Strongest Slam on Fandango. He doesn't know the finisher on that either. Well, sorry about your damn luck, as James Storm uh, would say. First report, thanks to Eric Lynch, reporting on the SmackDown spoilers at the Mata uh, Center. In Portland, Oregon, Chris Jericho versus uh, AJ Styles 2 opened up the show. Before the match started, Social Outcast walked out, cut a promo on the two. The match turns into a tag team match. Styles and Jericho defeated Curtis Axel and Adam Rose. After the match, Jericho nails a cold breaker on Styles. Dudley boys come out in street clothes. They cut a promo with tables around the ring, and then we see a replay of them turning on the Usos from Raw. Bubba cut a heel promo and ripped on Daniel Bryan for retiring, leading to a huge yes chant from the crowd. Goldust tries to recruit R-Truth as a tag team partner once again. Probably on a video from somewhere in the world. Uh, Sasha Banks defeated Naomi with a bank statement. Becky Lynch was on commentary for the match. In the back, AJ Styles cut a promo on Jericho. Wyatt family walked down to the ring. Bray Wyatt cut a promo about Checking out the big guys in WWE. Neville, Sankara, and Kalissa defeated Stardust and the Ascension after a triple finisher spot. Uh, Chris Jericho defeated AJ Styles in the main event. The crowd was hot. AJ went for the Styles Clash, but Jericho successfully nails the code breaker for the clean win. And SmackDown ended with Jericho celebrating in the ring. Second report, thanks to Lawrence Morgan, who also did the main event. Spoilers, the second one. Uh, Chris Jericho opened the show, cutting a heelish promo on AJ Styles. Styles came down for the match, but the social outcast interrupted just before the match was going to start. And it led to a tag match. AJ and Chris Jericho beat Curtis Axel and Adam Rose. Styles won after a springboard forearm punch to Styles. Referee raised Jericho and Styles' hands. Jericho then closed on Styles and left. Different report. Uh, Dudley Boys cut a great heel promo. Then mentioned that they were sick and tired of Daniel Bryan, and that they were and they are not a not a nostalgia act. They will no longer be using tables. Sasha Banks. Defeated Naomi in the second match. Sasha won with a bank statement. Becky Lynch was on commentary and was beaten up by Tamina at ringside. The Wyatt family came out for a promo and mentioned taking down, down Titans and Gods. They mentioned Big Show, Ryback, and Kane. When the promo ended, it seemed that it, as if Bray was trying to do the Undertaker eye roll. Like I just did. Okay, Neville and the Lucha Dragons in match number three defeated Stardust and the Ascension. The baby faces won after a Salido del Sol, a Centon from the top, and a red arrow on, on a member of the Ascension. There's your triple finisher. Uh, Jericho defeated AJ Styles in the main event. Jericho won a really good match with a code breaker. Good near fall and false finishes. There were com competing AJ Styles and Jericho chants throughout the match from the crowd. I assume the camera stopped rolling here, but the Wyatts came out and surrounded Jericho. They attacked him and then Sty and Styles, and eventually Neville and the Lucha Dragons came out for the save to run off the Wyatts. Third report, thanks to Wesley Levy, again on Twitter at, at Speed Limit None 3, for the following SmackDown spoilers. SmackDown kicked off with Chris Jericho coming to the ring for a promo to hype his match with AJ Styles. Which Chris Jericho versus AJ Styles ended when the social outcast came out to interrupt 
may not have even started. This led to a, a tag team match. Styles and Jericho defeated Curtis Axel and Adam Rose. After the match, Jericho left Styles laying with a code breaker. Jericho then said he will see AJ later. Uh, then they aired a clip of Daniel Bryan's retirement and the Raw contract signing as a table they brought out and put around the ring. Dudley boys come out in street clothes and Bubba Ray Dudley is looking more like Bully Ray than before. They cut promos with tables surrounding the ring and we see a replay of them turning on the Usos at Raw. Bubba cuts uh, the Big Hill promo and riffs Daniel Bryan for retiring, leading to a huge yes chant. Save the tables. Comes back from the crowd, I guess. And Bubba says that they are doing away with tables. No more tables for the fans. Segment was Goldust trying to uh, recruit our truth again. Nothing more than that. Probably just a video. Uh, Sasha Banks versus Naomi with Becky Lynch on commentary was up next. Becky and Tamina Snuka ended up getting it into it at ringside. Tamina then laid her out. Sasha took Tamina's head off with a big kick and then makes Naomi tap with a bank statement. AJ, uh, AJ Styles cuts a backstage promo on Jericho. Bray Wyatt and the Wyatt family come to the ring for a promo. The Wyatt talks about how they were here to take out the titans of WWE. He rolled his eyes at the back of his head, just like The Undertaker would do. Or does. Real creepy promo. Not as bad as the typical Wyatt ramblings. Black History Month video for the JYD. Uh, segment. So they may be inducting JYD into the Hall of Fame. Maybe, unless he's already inducted. <coughs> Neville, Sankara, and United States Champion, Callisto defeated Stardust in the Ascension with a triple finisher spot. Again, like I said in the second one. Another Daniel Bryan video. Chris Jericho and AJ Styles was your main event. The crowd was hot for both of them. And the match was very good. Styles turned the walls of Jericho into the calf crusher at one point. Like I was saying, uh, at one point. Uh, he also went for the Styles Clash, but Jericho blocked it and uh, one uh, blocked it with a code breaker. And SmackDown ended with Jericho celebrating to a big pop from the crowd. Hmm. Back to Jericho being heel again. Well, that concludes my video. So I haven't gotten any more reports from any of uh, the results from that. Well, it's back down around the world. Even Lords of Pain was gone, had uh, some timeouts on their website. And the same uh, writer does two or three other websites. So same results on that one. Well, thanks again. Peace out. See you when I want to be a... By the way, if you don't know, you better call me brothers and sisters. <laughs>